Welcome to WrightStar, an Extivia IT service management division. Imagine if you were to track assets in your organization manually on a spreadsheet. It would be a difficult and error-prone process to maintain the records. ScanStar can help you solve this problem. This is a purpose-built barcode scanning solution for ITSM products that is an efficient, cost-effective method to track fixed assets like computers, furniture, and other resources. It complements the auto-discovery software tools to provide a physical means of tracking assets to give a complete picture in your organization. It has an easy-to-use interface that makes the process of receiving, tracking, and auditing assets quick and simple. ScanStar integrates with nine different flavors of CMDB products and works real-time with live data on a wireless network. We have an offline batch mode as well for wireless restricted areas. The app is supported on devices running on iOS and Android platforms and is available on the Apple and Google Play Store for you to download and install. Enterprise scanners from Zebra, Janum, and Panasonic can also be used with this app. Your IT can push the pre-configured app to your users via MDM tools like AirWatch or MobileIron. All you need is a valid target ITSM user account and a ScanStar license to use the app. There is nothing else required to be installed on your network besides the app on your mobile device. Licensing is based on the number of assets in your system that you would like to track with ScanStar. The asset count can be easily adjusted to suit your needs in the app's configuration. For the purpose of this demo, Atlassian Insight for JIRA Service Management is used as the target ITSM CMDB product. To the right of the screen is the Insight console using a custom schema. It has several hardware types like the desktops, laptops, servers, printers, monitors, this schema also contains a few supporting types like the manufacturer, model, location. You can create and structure your schema and types as needed. Please refer to the Atlassian Insight documentation. To the left of the screen is a mobile phone displaying the ScanStar app with the help of mirroring software. Workflows is the initial navigation screen presented to the user when logged into the app. The app supports five workflows. Receive is to create new assets into the CMDB when a new batch of assets is delivered to your facility. Track is to bulk update assets with changes. For example, moving a bunch of assets to a different location. Verify is to audit or edit individual assets. Unlike track, the changes do not carry over to the subsequent assets being edited. Audit helps accounting for assets in an organization in small batches specific to location or other criteria. Check Assets helps you keep track of assets that can be borrowed and returned after use. For example, a shared supply room. Next, each of the workflows will be explained in detail starting with Receive. If there is more than one CI type configured to be used in ScanStar, you are asked to pick one. Once you pick a CI type, all the attributes configured for the selected type is listed on the screen as formatted. The app is very customizable. Any field in the target CMDB can be added onto the screen. Although this is a generic app supporting several products, it is pretty tightly coupled with each. The fields are displayed differently based on the data type defined in the CMDB. When receiving several assets, the user may require to manually enter a unique name for each asset which slows down the process. The ScanStar app supports a limited set of expressions, one of which that can pick up data from other fields and assign it to the field that contains the expression upon saving the changes. The fields can be grouped into sections to give better clarity to the user. 
Any of the fields on the screen can be defined as scanned fields. These are identified with a barcode icon in the field. These are the fields the app uses to search assets in other workflows when a barcode is scanned. In addition, barcode data can be scanned into any of the fields on demand by simply tapping the label of the field. The label turns green and is ready to receive the scanned data. Users can populate reference and enumerated fields with data selected from a pick list. The data presented in the pick list is real-time from the CMDB. Similarly, users can assign data to date time field from a date picker. There is an optional signature pad to capture the signature that is saved as an attachment to each of the asset record in the CMDB. This feature is available only if supported by the CMDB. Let's say you have received a batch of Apple MacBooks in your warehouse. The best way to bulk receive items is to first enter common fields and then start scanning the barcodes on each of the assets. When all the scanned fields are populated the app creates a new record in the CMDB. After each record is saved, only the scanned fields are cleared allowing for the next asset to be scanned in. You can see four records have been quickly received and the app have been recorded in Insight with the data entered on the mobile device. The name field in Insight is assigned with actual data resolved from the expression in the ScanStar app. Track is to make bulk update with changes. For example, earlier, assets were received at the warehouse and now they need to be moved to the IT room and the status needs to be changed as well. After you make any required changes and start scanning one of the barcodes for each of the assets. The changes are updated in the CMDB. Verify is to edit or audit individual asset. A typical example is when an IT technician gets a call from a user with a computer issue. The technician walks up to the user's office, scans the barcode on the asset, updates the status and adds some notes. He can also have the user sign if the asset needs to be brought to the workshop for repair. You can add pictures to the asset either by taking one with the mobile device camera or picking one from the gallery. Attachments are available only if supported by the target CMDB. Users can also optionally create new incidents and link them to the asset and edit existing linked incidents. Audit is to account for all the assets in an organization. For example, they could have a scheduled six-month or yearly audit. Users auditing assets can create audit set filters for each location or any criteria. In case of multiple audit sets, one of them can be set as the default and you can switch between them. When this workflow is selected the assets for the default audit set are listed under the expected section. As items are audited the assets are moved to the found section. There may be assets in the room that do not belong in the location and they are listed under the unexpected section and the ones that do not exist in the CMDB are flagged as not found. Users can have a clear picture of their assets right on their mobile device. A custom date time field in the CMDB defined as audit date in ScanStar is timestamped each time an asset is audited. This field can be used to generate reports in the target CMDB. Audit sets can be created with fixed or dynamic criteria. Optionally, multiple fields for an asset can be updated when audited.
Check assets is to keep track of assets that can borrowed or loaned out to users on temporary basis. For example, a storage room with tools that users can borrow and return after use. The assets are checked out to the user with the location of use and a due date to be returned. The assets are removed from the list as they are checked out and can be found in the check-in tab. The assets can be checked in when they are returned by using in the check-in tab. The checked-in assets can now be found in the checkout tab. The About screen provides basic information like the license expiration date, licensed assets, number of assets in the target CMDB that are tracked with ScanStar, and the version of the app. Providing this information to WriteStar support will be useful to troubleshoot any issues. Settings provides several options to configure the app to suit your needs. Configure allows you to pick a schema from available list in your target CMDB and define workflow screens and the properties for use in ScanStar. The configuration file can be shared with other ScanStar users in the company. The shared configuration file can be downloaded onto their mobile device and installed here in the settings. This is to reduce time and be consistent across users. There are several other system settings that can be configured here as well. We hope you found this demo to be useful. Please contact us to learn more about the product and thank you so much for watching.